Hello everyone, and welcome back for a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing as Formicid Ice Elementalist of Kybriados for the 0 0.18 release tournament. Uh, and we've uh, fallen a bit behind in the race, I think. Uh, we're in like third. Tabstorm has blown past us. Elliptic has already won. I don't know, maybe someone else has caught up by now as well. We've been going a bit slowly. Uh, I took a break to like debug an issue that somebody was having in an old version that is still broken in the current version, uh, but just like doesn't come up very often. Uh, but could have been, you know, pretty bad if it happened. You know, I think mostly it would just result in printing a whole bunch of garbage characters to the screen. I don't think it would be much worse than that, but who knows? Uh, but I was also just for fun. I was reading over the clan names here. Um, <laughs> So as I mentioned in the tournament, uh, you know, you can be on a team. I, I prefer to call them teams than clans, but they're called clans. Uh, like, I'm on the developer team. Uh, and, and people come up with the most creative names. Some of them are dumb for their clans, but there's a lot of names that are cute. Like, um, you know, the, the team in, in second place is just called Distracted by YouTube Dollars, run by Demise, a YouTuber. Very Not, not that amusing, but uh, it's okay. The one that I love is uh, third place has... Uh, Quite a few players, including quite a few strong players. I mean, it's in third place, right? Uh, including Lasty, uh, who I invited to the developer team, but he had already signed up for this team, and I think he's happier there too. Like he tries to, he wants his team to score well, uh, and the developer team is mostly about just like, hey, try to win at least one game, will ya? Anyway, but their team is called AWBW, which is like the name of the forum that they're from. Ban blowguns and needles violence. Which is if you read it, if you read the text, you notice needles looks a lot like needless, huh? Needles violence, very funny. We have here crawl of duty. Uh, in seventh place is Team Splat, which is the Reddit team. Uh, go zag or go home. <laughs> Future player ghosts. Oh my gosh, these are great. Somebody. Oh good, Minmay did make that team. Out damned zot. Uh, what else? Is there anything else amazing here at the top here? Pictures of Rue? That's cute, I guess. Uh, some of these are a little bit explicit, and I will not be reading them out loud. <laughs> um, <laughs> pandemonium cakes? I'm not quite sure what that's a play on, but I'm sure it's something. Um, I don't know. Anyway, some of these are cute. Shadow fiends are the tits. That's one that made me laugh because recently a change made it, uh, went in that uh, renamed Shadow Fiends to uh, instead of being Shadow Fiends, they're um, Zitsimito or something. Zitsimito, Zitsimito, something like that. I don't know. This is what this used to be Shadow Fiends. Now they're this. So Shadow Fiends are the tits. Very funny, right? Um, anyway, I was reading all that crap. Let's get back to the game, shall we? I thought I would share that with you, but now we're done. Uh, and we wanted, I think, just to go to depths. Just let's just start like trying to win. I don't think it's time to go to slime for the third rune yet, but it's not far off. And I do still think slime is definitely the third rune we want. Is it time to make a great mace yet? Ooh, a great mace of. Well, protection's not actually that good. Let's go get this one from Shoals. What am I thinking? I just left Shoals. Go back to Shoals. This is why I don't get speed speed run. Uh, I don't do well on speed runs. <laughs> this is one of many reasons. I just, like leave stuff all over the ground. The dungeon is my garbage can. And then I go back for it whenever I need it. It's so wasteful of food. How does he live? Ugh. Um, you know, food is just not an issue. That's how. I say to you, I have a scroll of requirement! What? I guess I was going to read it, but I forgot. All right. Um, I think I still want more armor. It's fine. Armor is not amazing, but like, this is whatever. It's, acquirement is never amazing. Buckler. I don't even want to try this, do I? I mean, I'll try it, whatever. Yeah. Nah, I mean, it's got good stats, but... I really need the shield points, so let's wield this. Plus zero holy wrath, jeez. Uh, put my shield back on. Uh, 
Uh, any other promising great maces? There's this great mace of protection in vaults too, which could easily be enchanted, uh, which would save me some enchant weapon scrolls. Oh god, I bet I'm I'm like I'm gonna have to go backtrack some more to find the scrolls I want to use. Like I'm I'm just doing this very uh, carelessly, but it doesn't matter. Who cares about turn count, right? Not me. Oh, this is a bad uh, place to be. Actually, let's not be here. Too many ugly things in one place. Uh, which ones are a problem right now? Brown. Yeah, I don't like brown ones at all. That acid. All right. I uh, just used a, a little temporal distortion to buy me a little bit of breathing room. Plus one. Okay, sure. That's an improvement. I could make plus four and give it a better brand than protection. Yeah, see, they're all in elf. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? So much back and forth. Hello, wizard. Is there anything else that I, like, need to pick up? Like, should I get Death Channel or something? It's in Elf 3 anyway. Oh, look at all these. Look at all this crafting stuff I left on the ground, huh? Read that on this. Poison. That is terrible. Try again. Vamp. Nice. All right, I'll take it. I gotta eat something. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go enchant it up to plus four, and uh, this is gonna be our long-term weapon. Uh, I mean, it's not like the best thing in the world, but it's good. Put it on? No, not put it on. What am I even thinking? Jeez. Read J on A, please. All right. Now let's go to depth. Uh, mm, I forgot. I might want to pick up Death Channel. Uh, e, 97% fail. Yeah, Simulacrum, 87. Okay. So it's actually, uh, since we lost some strength pretty recently, it is getting a bit difficult to cast that stuff. It's fine. We don't need it that badly. Uh, what am I training right now? Maces, armor, summoning. Uh, I seem to have emptied my manual of summoning. No, I left it on the ground because I was dropping all my books, and that's a book! Ugh, dumb. Just bleh. Let me out of orcs. You stupid orcs everywhere. I just want to go. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, manual of summonings. Here we go. Maybe I should just like pick up Aura of Abjuration instead and forget this necromancy business. Oh, he died from throwing rocks at me. I love it. Okay, we're in depths. Let's try not to get like too much out in the open. is full. I've got all this junk. Well, we don't need this anymore. It has invisibility, but that's life. And 
I have all these evocables. Jeez. Um, confusion. Confusion. Drop those. All right. Drop that. Don't have any armor I'm keen to enchant right now. Uh, actually, Shadow Creatures is probably better than Ice Beast these days. Although it's 28% fail, so let's not mess with that. Oh man, remember way back in the day when that one Frost Giant all by his lonesome practically was a lethal threat? He still, I mean, conceivably, we could die to a Frost Giant, but uh, they're not a big concern. I should uh, forget Azakubu's armor. Uh, all right, the Scrolls of Amnesia are in Elf. It's not a high priority, but like I'm not going to use it ever again. So, we already have a natural corridor here, so there's not much point in digging a kill hole. More monsters can see us, but it doesn't really matter. There's only one at a time who can do anything to us. We're, we're not training summonings. Jesus Christ. All right. I went and picked up the summoning book, and then I forgot to turn it on. I'm like, oh, my lord. It's just there's so much to do. Book of Transfigurations. They really are trying to tempt us into transmuting, but it's not a good idea. Don't want any of that. Don't think we want any of this either. Nope. Sublimation of Blood is decent, actually. Oh, yeah, I want that. Read B on A. Sublimation of Blood is probably worth learning. Nothing good in that book. Sublimation of Blood can really help, like, I mean, with exactly, it's, it's like, you don't really need me to tell you what Sublimation of Blood is good for. It's good for, like, when you don't have enough MP and you want more. Uh, right? Like, uh, and so the question is just, like, how often does that occur? What sorts of uh, situations would you get into like that? And it's like, uh, you know. For me, for this character, it would be like if I want to use Step From Time and I can't, basically. Or, you know, any of a number of things. There, I could want to cast more than I can. But I would try to manage my MP actively rather than just sort of reactively say, oh, I need more MP because I screwed up, let's... Let's cast Sublimation of Blood. Enchant Armor, was it? I don't want that. Rod of Clouds? When did I get that? I love Rods of Clouds. Oh, but it's vampiric. Uh. All right. Well, forget it. Get out of here, Rod of Clouds. And scroll the Enchant Armor. Depths at one has been like real easy. Is this the elephant graveyard here? Is that what this is? It really looks like elephant graveyard. A lot of you would normally just never see dire elephants is like the main the main thing making me say, hmm. Shadow creatures getting castable. I'll just make Ice Beasts for now. I don't like Rakshasas at all. Then they're dumb blinking. There we go. 
Of course, blinking is not the thing about them that's annoying. It's the fact that they make copies of everything and you have to kill stuff like five times. Uh, this is like way too many things. Let's make a few ice beasts to sort of like prevent them from ganging up on us. It's not working. All right, so that's cool. Let's just back up towards the wall and if we get surrounded, we'll temporal distortion them. There we go. And now we can probably just hold tab through all this. I couldn't fight six of them at once, but six of them one at a time, honestly not even worth noticing. I think that 10% fail rate, bleh. Not great, but it doesn't really matter. I hate deep troll shamans. I've mentioned this pretty much every time I see one. But this is about the first time this game. There was one earlier, but uh, we already had a kill hole, and so he was irrelevant. Let's just um, regen and get him closer. There we go. Now let's kill this guy, which is the only one he buffed. And the other two should go down like, I don't know, go down like candy, something. Looks like there's a good kill hole, right? Oh no, it actually looks like there's monsters on the other side of this wall. So we maybe don't want to dig it out. Shadow creatures? What'd we get? A bunch of trolls, nice. Of course, they're digging up the, uh, a demon spawn? What's he doing here? I guess there must be a gate to pan over here or something. Uh, I'm quite out in the open, but... <laughs> uh, the monsters are killing themselves, right? So it's sort of fine. Let's make more shadow creatures. A bunch of spark wasps, that's pretty cool. Every time they make depths harder, it's a secret buff to shadow creatures. Not, not really a serious remark. Uh, let's animate all this. Oh yeah, look at all these zombers. Nice. Let's get going. Depths, uh, I mean, it's it's the, like I've, geez. one of the, sometimes I'm tempted to turn off like the more prompt at all so that I don't get like, cause I, here I am in combat, I mean like tab space, tab space. I'm like, I don't really care about any of this crap that's being printed. But like sometimes I do, and I don't really know that I would want to turn it off. I just like, I don't know, maybe I need to turn a bunch of these messages on mute. Like most of this is totally useless. My Yaktar zombie hits the fire guy. I, I don't, I don't care. Who cares? There's only so much space in my message buffer. I don't need it filled up with that junk. All right, we could make some fire dragon armor. That's an option. Don't know if we want to. I'm just gonna like tab my way through depths, it seems like, which you gotta be careful as always, like when you actually do that, Suddenly something bad happens, and you're like, oh, this is real bad. Um, ooh, Fan of Gales. Can I have that? But like most of this stuff, hello, come in. It's not that big a deal. All right, we've gotten to the state where we can sort of comfortably do dumb stuff like I was just doing there. There's a zig. Don't really want to mess with that, probably. Yeah, 
there's not anything I particularly need in a zig that would cause me to be willing to take that kind of a risk. I really just want to kill the Rakshasas. They're just making a zillion copies of all the stuff that we're actually fighting. I'm gonna slouch this. I don't mind hurting my... these are crappy friendlies anyway. Alright, that killed the Rakshasa, which simplifies things a lot. Skeleton zombies, or the skeleton zombies, the elephant zombies. They're gonna fall apart pretty soon, but for now it's fun. All right, let's go down to depths three. Well, let's just ABM closer to us, sure. How's my spell power on Ice Beast? Is it maxed yet? It's not. Uh, I don't want to step off of this staircase, really. So is there anything useful I can do while still here? Um, Sublimation of Blood is a good... Uh... Yeah, sure. Since we have regen up anyway. I'll just wait here. If you guys want to come down and fight, you can. Otherwise, you can just keep killing yourselves with projectiles. <laughs> Are we still, yeah, we're still, uh, still have a manual. Fine. Friendly Rakshasa. That's an interesting one. What's in here? Some sort of miniature Zot, maybe? Ah, no, this is a miniature Hell. I like this vault. Makes me smile. You know, we've got like... What, what did we kill here? There's a Red Devil, but before that there was a Hell Beast, which sort of represents like Garyon. Uh, on the way in, we killed a Rust Devil, which was Dis. Then the Hell Beast, which is the, the Vestibule. The Red Devil is Gehenna. Iron Giant Zombie, I guess, must be Tartarus then. And what was Kokitis? I missed it. Red Devil, Hell Beast. Maybe we haven't killed the thing from Kokitis yet. I don't know. Maybe it got lost. Or maybe I missed it, more likely. Whoa, don't go in there. Guys, I'm down here. Come on over. They can't figure it out. Go for it, Etten Zombie. You can swim. Go get him. Nope. We're not Etten Zombie. It was a real Etten from Shadow Creatures. All right, the Vampire Knight has figured it out. This is an interesting little uh, forest glade up here, or whatever it is. Oh, it's a Gozag's Platinum Reserve. Alright, a Golden Dragon is fine. Not a humongous problem. We probably can't afford any of this, honestly. Everything, the price of stuff in here is multiplied by like 10. Uh, to encourage you to switch to Gozag and start getting all that fat money. Yeah, and oh my god, this stuff is all junk. Hmm. My spell longer is like not a big deal. I could train a little spell casting, but I don't think it's really necessary. Right, see, even when we got to near star range, like, there's just food everywhere. This is terrible! Kozak, why? You can't find a better ad? I mean, 
mean, I could go in there, but it's just gold. I don't even need it. Does that say exclusion gold, I wonder? No, it just says one exclusion. That's too bad. If you exclude a monster, it's like exclusion golden dragon or something. But apparently excluding gold doesn't count. Yeah, we can just uh, just take all this stuff out, no problem. More, maybe strength. I feel like our strength has sort of petered off since we like took off some our some of our equipment, and uh, we're not really making use of the int yet. But some more strength will make it will help also with the same stuff that the int helps with, because we're wearing fairly heavy armor. Uh, speaking of, is it about time yet to like stop training armor? I don't know, probably not. One fire dragon, really? Let's try that again. I got a bunch of ogres. All right, that's not terrible, but ogres are pretty weak. Hmm. Dead. Let's make some friends. Ha 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 ha. Make friends. Get it? Orange crystal statue. Let's not fight in its line of sight. We can approach it later, but I don't want to fight like in its line of sight. It has like. Actually, does it have uh, shadow creatures? It has like some attacks that it do things to you. So like, and it can't move. So why would you fight in its line of sight, right? Until you're ready to go after it specifically. Oh, all the boggarts, boggarts, get out of here, boggart. Get out, out, damn boggart. So this is the kind of thing I was thinking like I should learn abjuration for. But for boggarts specifically, of course, you can just slouch and they all just melt away like nothing. Uh, I didn't have to slouch there, but I could have if things had uh, been a little bit more problematic. That hadn't landed several hits on me. I forgot we have vamp now. That's why we're getting so much. Why like all of our health problems seem to have gone away. It's not just that we're killing monsters really fast and regening. It's that we're uh, healing from hitting them, and we hit them pretty hard, <laughs> so we heal a lot. All right, cool. Uh, what is this? It's uh, enchant armor. Ugh. And a ring, whatever, I don't care. Just go downstairs. Or kill a Rakshasa and then go downstairs if I must. Oh, bleh, bleh. This is hanged man pleasure drones. Um, I'm gonna read magic mapping here. Oh no, it's not. What is this? Oh, is it? I think it is. I just had forgotten what it looks like. Yeah. I have, I remember my first Formacid that got very far in the game. Like, I don't remember if it was my first, I think it was after my first win. And it was a game that I thought might become my second win, I believe. Let me just, uh, hmm, yeah, it's kind of hard to find that out actually. So I won't go look it up. But anyway, I had a Formacid, and I was in like, as in this area over here or something. I had, I just barged into this area. I was like fighting a whole bunch of guys, and I was like, wait a minute, there's a whole bunch of guys here. I'm gonna run away, and I did. But like, I don't remember. A Titan was air striking me or something. And these days, there's so many things I know I could have done to survive. But I didn't do those things because I was a newer player at the time, not as good, um, and I don't know. Hangman Pleasure Drums just has a lot of nasty ambushes, uh, including just the original entry, right? All the stairs are right here, and you are surrounded by monsters, and it's just <sighs> tough.
tough, tough vault. Um, so if possible, I'd like to, uh, I don't know, not die, I guess is what I was going for with that. Stair dance a bunch of stuff that I can. Um, these guys are like a problem. Let's make a bunch of shadow creatures since apparently I am unable to fight them myself. This entropy stuff is corroding the heck out of me. But uh, shadow creatures seems to be doing the job. Corrosion minus 36. A sure sign of good play. It's a berserker. But uh, he can't really do anything to me through that vampiric axe uh, mace. Um, ah, we're done with our manual of summoning. Let's memorize. Let's learn some spell casting so I can memorize like abjuration for liches and so on. Like this guy, uh, he summoned this Balrog, which is sort of a problem for me right now. I'll just take him upstairs and then it won't be a problem anymore. I am not budging off these stairs, Mr. Centaur Warrior. Shoot me full of as many needles as you want. I will not budge from this spot. Oh, that reminds me. Repel missiles fell off. <laughs> Quicksilver Dragonhide uh, is an interesting one. You can make... I mean, Quicksilver Dragon Armor is like pretty good. And it only costs one... Enchant armor. Its gimmick is that it's like a pretty, it's like way stronger at plus zero than other stuff, than, than anything at that strength deserves to be, like at that heaviness, but you can't enchant it any higher than plus zero. Um, so it's mm, a decent investment for one of one scroll, but we already are wearing like plus eight plate, which I like better, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, one frost giant, that's fine. I want to stare down slightly larger chunks so it just doesn't get quite so tedious. Okay, great. Shadow dragon, yeah, we can make shadow dragon armor. That's a fun one, too. summoned all this stuff, which is going to make it hard for me to... Dang it, I, just for a second, there was a giant orange brain that I could have stair danced. Not taken upstairs. Now there's all this stuff I don't care about. Oh, it's all summoned and... Alright, let's go upstairs. We got the giant orange brains. Nice. Oh, missiles fell off again. Boggart? Yeah, let's just slouch him. Hello? What? Am I pushing the wrong buttons or something? Oh, it's, it's low. Slouch is C. I was hitting capital B and I was like, no. Alright, cool. Come get me, Fire Giant. I am still not budging from this spot. And the thing is, while we're doing all this, it's making a ton of noise. So, like, more monsters are coming. It's awful. Alright, but that didn't seem too bad, honestly. The entry, at least. Um, and there's a fair number of spots, it looks like, from my mapping. Now, I didn't really have to map this. Uh, the vault is basically the same, like, every time. Uh, and I could have just looked up the definition of the vault. But, I don't know. I felt like I had the mapping, and I don't really love that you can do that. So since I didn't really need to, I did it using in-game resources instead. So there. Uh, and sometimes I do look up vaults, but uh, it's just I never it never makes me happy. Let's just drop um, this royal jelly. Pick up the scroll. Read F on A. Great. Is this stuff all stone? I don't know. Let's dig here and see. This is rock, so the one on the other side probably is too. So 
So we can sort of dig our way through a lot of this layout if we want. Certainly not all of it, but um, we don't have to do things in exactly the order that the vault designer intended, hanged man. Hmm. Taking a little more damage than I would like. But we're also healing up pretty well from vampirism or vampiric attack or whatever. This elf, by the way, he's going like this. Uh, there's like a sort of known bug where just ranged monsters don't really behave very well. Uh, they don't really understand tactics at all and do dumb things. Lots of monsters do that. But these guys do something that like, actually looks dumb to the player as opposed to just like, haha, that monster wasn't thinking ahead. This monster is doing something that like, just doesn't make any sense. So what's happening is uh, I was standing what? Uh, I was standing here? Yeah. So he was, he was uh, here in this square and he would back up to here because he knows he's ranged. He doesn't want to move in close to me. He wants to, be vi he wants to see me but be far away. So he would move here to get a better shot with his spells. Makes sense. And then the next turn, he'd forget that's what he'd done. and be like, oh look, there's the, uh, there's, the, there's the player. I gotta go chase him down. And he would move this way. And then he's like, oh, I can't see the player. I gotta, I gotta back up and surprise him. And he would go here. So, like, they have some issues. Ooh, you don't say. Uh, it's interesting. Not really my jam, but uh, decent. One thing is we could consider at some point switching away from... our Ring of Ice, because we're not using ice spells that much anymore. Let's just drop, I don't know, anything? Inventory pressure, man, it's a pain in the butt. One of my three wands of Ice Blast, I guess. Great. Book of Debilitation. Garbage spells for garbage people. All right. Okay. Excitement is occurring. We have found the bad part. Uh, so fortunately, only very little of it has seen us right now. They've shouted, so the monsters are all awake, but most of them haven't seen us. So one thing we could do is step away and sort of lure them in smaller chunks. Another thing we could do is slouch, right? Juggernauts are very fast. So, slouch, but they also have a lot of hit points, so it's like not that impressive. Uh, and Juggernauts are also sort of stymied by summons, so we can just put down some shadow creatures on them and... And, uh, oh, look, we could learn Abjuration now. Cool. Now's not the time, but, uh... So I think what we do is we just create some... We, we step back so that more monsters don't see us quite so easily. And then, oh my, oh, I don't have to worry about giant eyeballs. They can't paralyze me. There are recent uh, re-editions to the game. They were taken out for a while because, like, just paralyzing players uh, from a distance sort of un -resist irresistibly was pretty nasty. Uh, but they were added back uh, after nerfing them to make us so they have to, like, charge up quite a bit before they can use their ability, and so you sort of get a chance to react. You don't just walk into the line of sight, get instantly paralyzed and killed. Uh, but I don't have to worry about it because uh, all they can do is paralyze, and uh, I can't be paralyzed. I'm immune. Uh, let's use like a, I don't know, box of beasts as well. Juveniles is all I get, huh? Yeah, the Juggernaut hit my Yaktar for three exclamation points and then two exclamation points. Uh, 
uh, Gamma Funk is teasing me. I'm not sure why. I think he's just wrong and dumb. That's why. Uh, like a box? Not a box of beasts. A file of floods? Or maybe a lamp of fire? All look, they all look good here, but the problem is that we have a bunch of friendlies who are going to get mad at us. I don't know. I think the friendlies are just a little concern. Let's just use the lamp of fire. Uh, okay, great, great, great. Uh, that was... Jesus Christ. So how much of our stuff did we make angry anyway? All of it. The box of beasts is mad at us, and uh, we had a zombie or something that's mad at us as well. Yeah, the fire giant zombie. Very, very, very nice. Very funny. <laughs> uh, but now I can, like, slouch this stuff. Oh, then we get my fire elementals. This is not so great. Regen? The fact that it's hurting my fire elementals is basically irrelevant. They're they're just about to die anyway. Yeah, so let's slouch. Killed the giant eyeball. Not that exciting, honestly. The giant eyeball view fixates on you? Please. Let's put that in the to-do. That is not a sentence. There should be an apostrophe in there. The giant eyeball's view fixates on you. Or possibly the giant eyeball fixates its view on you, or something. This is just, there's so much stuff, jeepers. I could apply several slouches. Like, I'd, I'm not above doing that. It's just a question of whether that's going to help. Really? Jeez. Hanged man, why would you do this? What a jerk. <laughs> uh, how about the Rakshasa? How badly damaged are they? They're heavily wounded. Yeah, getting rid of them will help a lot. But this costs a bunch of hunger. The Juggernauts are taking damage from this, but I don't know how quickly it's going to kill them. And the Rakshasas still seem to be alive. I killed the wrong one. Okay, that got the right one. Oh, interesting. It looks like the Rakshasas had been killed. I killed the right Rakshasa the first time, but like something other than my slouch killed it. Probably from standing in fire, I guess. And so its summon stuff hadn't uh, had time to disappear yet. I guess? I don't see it. All right, whatever. Well, anyway, they're gone. Uh, and now we have the problem that we're almost out of, like, we're almost going to have to eat, which is a bad, now is a bad time. Um, but one or two more slouches should kill all the juggernauts, which uh, is great. All right, that's one down. I'm going to not slouch the last one, just because it's going to make me starve, probably, and I don't want to do that. Come on, just kill the Juggernaut. He's the source of a lot of damage. On the other hand, so is the Ancient Lich. All right, let's do the last slouch, I guess. Am I starving yet? Did I see the Enchantress somewhere? No, it was an Executioner I killed. <sighs> Got the Lich, there goes the... Tsitsimitl. I don't know. Oh, okay. We're not in the best shape we've ever been in. 
but it's not nearly as bad as it was a minute ago. The Tango Reaver appears to be doing quite a bit of damage. Oh, there are two. All right, let's heal up. Eat, no, a beef jerky, please. Use a fan of gales. Yeah, just buy me some time. Got, got that Reaver away from me. And he has some spells, but uh, with Repel Missile up, most of his spells, I think, will not be too much of a problem for us. I, I decided to heal up this turn just in case. Yeah, he cast Freezing Cloud, which honestly is fine with me. It's killing the other guys faster than it's killing me, probably. Let's focus down this Tengu Reaver. Heal up some more. Yikes. We could step from time right now, if we wanted to. It's an option. We're just like, we're almost over the crest, right? We've almost killed all the monsters here. Uh, and I sort of hate to like abandon right now, but I'm worried about our our reserves of heal. Oh no, we have a ton of potions of heal wounds too. Nice. Yeah, it looks like the potions are just barely canceling out the damage we're taking. Uh, but I guess these air elementals are harassing the Tengu Reaver enough that uh, that's fine with me. All right. Now we have a moment to do something interesting, like um, maybe AA, uh, slow them all down. No, that takes away the MP we need to uh, step from time, if that's what we need. Um, let's use a sack of spiders. Yeah, that buys us a lot of time. They're caught in a web now. Oh, and we're healing from attacking him. Oh, so juicy. Okay. Crisis over. Crisis over, guys. Whew. But this is why I don't like Pleasure Drones. There's just so much stuff that comes at you all at once. It's carefully crafted so that like the lines of sight are manipulated so that monsters all come on you at the same time. It's bleh. There's a ton of loot, like don't get me wrong, but that's, you know, loot won't bring back my grandma or whatever, I don't know. I don't have anything. Wait, what is, oh, I see. Oh, what was I wearing before? Just protection from fire, I guess. R loot won't bring you back to life. <laughs> That's the important thing to know. Uh, and we are still not done with this horrible, horrible place. Yeah, I don't need any of the other spells in that book. Well, that was just like half of one quarter of the nastiness of Pleasure Drones. Uh, oh man, I really need to recharge my Wand of Heal Wounds. Wow. Don't let that run out. All right, we're uh, sort of in a position now where I think we can dig. Oh, I can't dig any further! Gross. All right, well, we can only be touched by one enemy at a time right now. If I back up, we can only be seen by a couple. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up. There we go. Now we have a proper kill. I didn't like the entry weaver corroding us from the back there. And you know, and it must be said, there's a lot of experience to be gained in uh, Hanged Man Pleasure Drones, so like, that's great. Um, but stuff like this is why some players recommend diving through depths rather than clearing it, because there is just 
so much nasty stuff at all times. Why am I attacking the stupid summoned polar bear? Tab, you need to get a hold of yourself. Let's kill the Entropy Weaver, please. I don't like all this corrosion business. Okay. Now I'd like to get back to a better area to fight in. And I think just walking is going to be okay. Yeah, there we go. Regen, and then start tabbing stuff. We'll heal with our regen and with uh, the vampirism effect. Uh, and the corrosion is gone now, which is great. Yeah, just bring me some living beings to fight, please. Oh, yeah. Well, let's forget Azuku's armor. I knew there was something I wanted to forget. I just couldn't remember what it was, which is kind of a weird sentence to say out loud now that I, uh, now that I say it. I, I knew I wanted to forget something, but I couldn't remember what it was. It sounds like the opening to, like, a... A noir novel or something, maybe. I don't know. I don't read a lot of noir. None, right? That's how much I read. But, I don't know. Seems like a trope that should live somewhere. Uh, are we like... I think we're about... That's enough armor. Let's get back to dodging. Storm Dragon. We could make Storm Dragon armor. That's a decent one. But we already have electricity resistance, I guess. Although that is on our, our, our armor. So, I don't know. How much enchant armor is there? A lot. 11? We fought a golden dragon at some point, didn't we? Yeah, but there's no... Uh... No hide. Um, We could make fire dragon armor. I mean, it's a possibility. Uh, Shadow Dragon Armor, also pretty solid. Storm Dragon Armor, pretty decent. What is the armor that I'm wearing at the moment? Electricity and negative energy resistance, and it's plus 8. So it's Armor of 10, Encumbrance of 18. I don't remember how Dragon Armor, like... So this is uh, substantially, like... It's two less armor, but seven less encumbrance. So, like, dragon armor is generally better than plate on average. Uh, Quicksilver is, like, almost as much as plate and, like, hardly any encumbrance. Shadow dragon is as strong as plate, slightly, slightly lighter, and also gives you a big stealth bonus. Gold dragon armor is... Only a little bit thicker than plate. I didn't realize that. I thought it was like 15, not 12. And its encumbrance of 23 uh, is a lot more than plate's 18. Uh, Pearl Dragon Armor is like a pretty good one. It's as much, it's as strong as plate, but much, much lighter. But it's also very rare. Uh, I mean, Fire Dragon Armor feels a little bit too light. Shadow Dragon Armor is heavier. It's like reasonable heaviness. But like sneaking, is it that important to me? Not really. Uh, if I wanted more stealth, well, I would get a substantial stealth upgrade from switching to that, which is nice. It means, since we can't run away very well, we can if we see a fight we don't want to take, we can walk away from it if they haven't seen us. I don't know. We could make plus 10 Shadow Dragon or plus 10 Storm Dragon, right? Yeah, we could. We have enough to do that. So we really should make something. I'm just not sure what. I guess Storm Dragon Armor is pretty reasonable. It's just that... Yeah, well, okay, right. I was thinking this was what was giving us our fire resistance, but it's not. Um, if 
I put on fire dragon armor, I could take off my ring of protection from fire, still have RF plus. Then I would not have cold resistance. Uh, but I could maybe put on this ring J along with the ring of ice. No, because that cancels. Ugh, I don't know. I just feel like I should make something, and I don't know what, and so I'm like, oh, I'll just put off the decision. But that's like the wrong thing to do. Uh, the longer I go with like mediocre, I don't know. My current armor is like fine. Uh, do I really want to hold out for gold dragon armor though? Yes, it's a bad, bad play, but I want to do it. And all the other plays just don't feel very good. I'm pretty sure this is wrong, but I'm just gonna keep going. Cause we have we have good plate already. Like you don't. Uh, the worst way, the worst time to save enchant armor scrolls is when you're wearing crappy armor, and you're like, oh, I want to save it till I have great armor. And like we have pretty good armor already, so it's not that crucial that we that we upgrade right now. Why is this stone and this is rock? And like, there's some rock here too. It's weird. We gotta stay close to these walls. Something nasty is lurking around the corner, around every corner, really, down here. I don't know. Maybe it all came and fought us earlier, which would be nice to know. Yeah, it looks like we fought it all already. Okay. More enchant armor. What's over here? There's more loot, right? A robe and a falcon. Blech. All right, we just have this half, this quarter left, but like it's a big, big chunk of the enemies. The, the southwest and northeast halves were not bad at all. It's the northwest and southeast that'll get you. Uh, so we want to prepare a kill hole right here. What went up fighting? Maces and flails, nineteen. Okay. Come, come get me. Oh, elementalist. Oh, I'm glad we killed him fast before he could ruin our kill hole. Nice thing is, as an ant, you, it's really easy to build a new kill hole. Uh, whoa, Caustic Shrike, that's a little scary. We are getting corroded a bit, but it was fine. Deep Troll Earth Mage would also make me sad. But like, look at this, we're just like a machine, a shredder. Insert monsters, receive experience. Uh, I'm still very wary of coming into the middle there. <laughs> I don't need the file of floods either, but I just know that's where all the lines of sight converge and every monster hiding in this structure is going to come for me when I step up there, I'm sure. Hanged Man really is a jerk. Yeah, you can't flay me. I mean, you can, but I'll kill you. It's a friendly death yak? Oh yeah, it is. It's a berserk friendly death yak. That's cool. No, wait, it's not friendly. Kill it. It's just like, it's obviously, it was summoned, so it wasn't that important to kill it, but it was... Uh, the monster, I couldn't really get to the Berserker to kill it, so I chose to kill its summon thing instead. All right, that should be most of the monsters in this vault, I think. Book of Party Tricks, cool. Did I learn Apportation? I did. Uh, let's back off.
And let's learn abjuration before I forget, huh? How about that? Cool. What other spells? Oh my gosh, I have so many spell levels. Stop training that. Let's get invocations a little higher just so that my step doesn't fail. Uh, it's getting to be a pretty important uh, ability to have ready at any time. Ooh, an amulet? Oh, but I really love my amulet of reflection. <laughs> yeah, don't wear it. I don't want it. Okay, depths four done. Oh, this video has gone on for a little while. Uh, and I don't want to try to clear depths five in this same video. Uh, the next one, we'll finish up depths and then uh, maybe go get our uh, third rune in the same video or maybe the next. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, right? Videos are just videos. Uh, watch them. You guys are just, you guys are just, uh, what's the word? Binging, uh, binging your way through these. I like to imagine that you're like, oh, I got to spend 11 hours watching Alan's latest playthrough. I don't know. Go out there and go, go get lunch or something. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.